ready to graduate because I'm ready to get some money. I'm ready to get some money. Like, I just feel like the girls that graduate with their masters, you can't tell them nothing. And for me to only be 25, I'm going to be 25 with a master's. Like, girl. guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl princess melissa aka it's the princess duh and if you're watching this video that means that you are interested in grad school grad life or somewhere along the lines thereof so first i want to congratulate you for even thinking about going back to school because it is a big step and since you're interested i'm just going to take you on a daily vlog of what i do during grad school so First thing I like to do is start out every morning by going to the gym. I used to be in a depressive phase or stage in my life in the past, especially going through grad school. And something that has helped me and made things just so much better is getting up, waking up every morning and going to the gym. It doesn't matter what you have planned, what's on your agenda, Get up and go to the gym. It will make you feel so good and so productive. And this little cute jacket that you guys see is actually a gift from my boyfriend. He bought me my very first Lululemon jacket and I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to get some more Lululemon pieces because it, it just fits so well and it's super comfortable and it's just, it's really cute too. So we're heading to the gym. We gotta bring our headphones so I have to pull out my matching pink beats of course and I like to listen to a really nice fun bop like R&B or hip-hop um, at the gym it just kind of really pumps me up for the morning so these are my gym shoes and please don't judge me I know what you're thinking girl those are busted they're busted like what are those yeah they're my gym shoes, and like since I'm in grad school, I can't really afford to buy new gym shoes right now. Money's tight, and we're in a recession, so I actually found these in my mom's closet, and I just put them on. They fit, and they worked. As long as they're giving me a little ankle and pack support, I'm okay with it. So I put on my little dusty, busty no names, and of course, I head out to the gym. Just kidding. Of course, I have to come back and get you guys. I cannot just leave you guys here. So let's go. So here is my sanctuary, aka Planet Fitness, aka the gym for beginners or those that are just trying to get their summer bodies back. And frankly, I'm just both. So I'm just wiping down my mat. This is the mat that I like to stretch on. They have them usually at most gyms, but you can always bring your own. I think in the future, um, when I get a higher salary, I'll definitely invest in more gym attire and gym equipment. But for now, I'm just using my resources, okay? So I wipe my mat down, sit on it, and of course I have to stretch. We gotta stretch our body. We gotta make sure that we don't pop anything out of place and just kind of get our bodies warmed up. For me personally, on this specific day, I just decided to do the treadmill only because I really was just low on time. But for anybody that's a beginner or someone who is just not super comfortable with trying the machines or you feel like you might be judged, hop on a treadmill and just start walking. It's going to make you look and feel like you're doing something. Trust me, the only people at the gym that are weird are the people that stand around and watch everybody else. Everybody's working out and doing their own thing, and frankly, you should be too. And I don't know if you just saw me lift my armpit, but I think that's the moment that I realized that I forgot to put on deodorant. I didn't stink, but I couldn't believe I forgot to put on deodorant. So I just like to uh, finish up with a nice run, light jog run, and that's pretty much my workout for the morning or this particular morning and of course we have to drink our water and we head home uh, i usually take this path home every day psych i have to come back for my camera i left it on somebody's porch <laughs> so, 
So once I got home, I realized that my hair was actually like super dirty and it got to the point where like it's just in a bun and I couldn't manipulate it any longer. This happens to me a lot, especially since I'm always busy between my two jobs, my school and several other things that I have going on. Sometimes all I can really do is a bun. It's presentable and it's quick and easy. I will be getting braids this summer so I don't have to deal with it. But of course you can see like it's so stiff my hair is sitting up like yzma like look at that you it looks so crazy like thing one and thing two you can't even manipulate it so it's definitely time to hop in the shower and wash our hair So once I finished my shower, I put my hair right back in that bun. Guys, I know, I know y'all talking stuff. I just can't help it. I'm always so busy and the bun is the easiest thing to do. But I did want to show you guys these really cool pins that I have. These pins are super cute and they're really good for organization, especially for us girly girls. And the best part is the ink comes out the exact color of the pin. So they're pink, green, black all the whole shebang so i love this so much this is what i use to write down things in my planner every day and that's pretty much what i'm about to do is just write out the rest of my day kind of late actually it's kind of late in the morning i feel like normally i would actually be up i'll try to be up around six that's honestly a lie because lately i just haven't been feeling like getting up early I barely been feeling like working like I don't know if it's like I don't know I don't know what it is I feel like a part of it is because I'm close to graduation and it's kind of nerve-wracking because it's like you don't really know exactly what's next like you don't really know where you're gonna go from here but I do have some goals and I might share them with you guys in a separate video or another video but um anyways Today, um, I already did my workout, I took my shower, and my boyfriend's making breakfast, which is very nice because I really didn't feel like doing it today. But I'm writing down, I just finished writing down everything I need to do today. Normally, like things will already be put in for the day. Like right here, it says I need to buy my graduation regalia. Anywho, sorry, if you guys can hear it, he's in the background cooking. So I try to write everything down like that I need to do during the day. And a lot of times I don't get everything done, but that's the beauty about writing it down is that you can just keep adding it until you get it done. Now, obviously you don't want to keep skipping over what you need to do, but it's nice to be able to write things down. And also it, it's nice to look back at, like it's nice to look back and see like, you know, what, what I was writing down in July of last year, you know. So definitely make sure that if you are in a master's program or you are looking to be in a master's program get yourself a really good planner so that you can keep track of everything being an adult is hard it's hard enough and i think being an unorganized adult is even worse than being an adult in general like because now you're just a mess and if you have kids now you're an unorganized adult mess with kids so try to keep a planner so i wrote down like everything i need to do for the day hey. thanks babe you. The little amount of orange juice that I got, is this from yesterday? Yeah. I'm dead. It's what you didn't finish. Tastes tangy. Um. Yay, thanks babe. I love, love my boyfriend. He be, he be getting on my nerves, y'all. But when he don't get on my nerves, he's so good to me. So, anyways, it is 1020. I have to clock in at 11 o'clock for my corporate job so i'm gonna eat my breakfast and i have to make a post on the school um instagram so i'm in charge of the school ac academic um the academic support center instagram and twitter so that is my part-time job so i have a full-time corporate job and then i have a part-time job because y'all look times is hard okay times is hard let me take a picture of of my plate so I have my Instagram right here and I pretty much like, 
I add anything that the school needs me to add. I make flyers. So like um, I answer people's DMs. So if somebody DMs on Instagram or Twitter, I'll answer that. I also try to like comment on other school pages, on uh, other pages that are affiliated with the school. So like the library has an account. The um, library has an account. The soccer team has an account. The girls volleyball team has an account. So like I'll try to like comment on their stuff. Like like this right here. It's, it's some guy on the basketball team. So since I'm a part of the school, I would like it. I'll comment and I'll say, and I'll just I'll just write something really nice. His name is Nate. So I'll just write like, good job, Nate. It's like since I'm I'm just trying to. Keep the page active, you know? Keep the page active so other people follow the page, so other students see the page is active. Like, that is my job. And it's a really easy job. I do it from home. They used to have me going into the school, like, the first month that I was working the job. But once they realized, like, okay, she doesn't need to go in, they let me just be at home. So, yesterday, I made a flyer. And I'm going to, you guys will see the flyer as well. But yesterday I made a flyer and this flyer is for um, a, a webinar that we are featuring at my school. So I just, I made it on my iPad, but I sent it to my iPhone because I have everything on my iPhone too. And I'm just going to post it onto the Instagram now. Oh my God, it's not even on here anymore. Oh God. Okay. Change of plans. That's annoying. This is what I made. This is the um this is the flyer that I made for our webinar that we have coming up for school. So I'm just gonna go to the Instagram. Here's my school and I'm just gonna post it. I'm just gonna post it. So boom. Here it is. And then I need to add like a caption. Work smarter, not harder. I just take everything that they gave me copy it then i go back to the instagram and i paste it easy check this is the easiest check you'll ever get as a grad student if you need an additional support of income it's the easiest bag that you'll ever get don't get me wrong sometimes i'll be lazy i don't be wanting to do it but when i tell y'all you gotta get your money how you can so I know that this breakfast may not look like much, but when I tell you guys, it gave me life. It literally gave me my soul back. So don't skip breakfast, guys. That's not cute. Make sure that you're eating something, an apple, some bacon, a waffle, like some cereal. Do not skip breakfast. It's literally the most important meal of the day because it really does start off your day. And you want to make sure you start off your day on the right foot so that you can be productive, so you can make that money. So anyways, after breakfast, I like to clock into my computer. I get everything set up. And on this day, I had a meeting with uh, my boss and a couple of people on my team. And we were pretty much just discussing the upcoming projects, any new changes that the company is making or any new changes that our department is needing to make. And um, the meetings are usually pretty straightforward. They're super fun, easy, quick. They don't take up our whole time. So that's why I actually love the meetings, you know. Um, it does give us that social human interaction that we're missing since we're working from home. So once I finished this meeting, I decided to clock out for my very first yet well-deserved break. And when I go on break, sometimes I like to just lay on my couch and like just watch TikToks and just just be at peace and just relax until i have to get back on the computer so it's two o'clock i don't get off work until 7 30 p.m which is not the greatest schedule for someone that's in school but literally in two days will be in april and i graduate on may 14th so i am very much very 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 much excited about this graduating like I can't wait to be done like I don't think y'all understand anywho I'm really just chilling there's this girl on TikTok her name is Lexi Larson and I watch her TikToks because she makes a 
70k salary i really like her videos i like to watch them throughout the day because it gives me motivation about when i graduate um trying to get a 100k salary or 90k salary 80k salary you know it's just good motivation because i don't i don't make that money yet and i'll be transparent with you guys um i'm not going to tell you guys how much i make but i don't make 80k yet i don't make 90k yet and i most certainly don't make 100k yet so it's nice to watch her videos because it's just kind of it gives me hope i don't like to use the word hope because i'm a christian and it's like no faith will be a better word so it does give me faith that i can secure a very large contract once I graduate and I can make more money. So it's, it's good motivation because I just don't want to be like, it just gives me motivation. When I graduated from my bachelor's program, um, I didn't have a plan. I, would, I applied for jobs, but I was applying for like one job a day. I didn't even have a really good resume. Like my resume was ass. Like... And then I came home and I worked and I worked at restaurants for like a year and a half. And I didn't like, you know, I didn't, you know, I didn't even explore my options. I just was like, F this, I'm going to get a master's because this is not going to be enough money for me. So now that I'm finishing my master's, I'm doing stuff the right way. I have a resume and if you guys want to see a resume um, video like of how I created my resume, happy to do so i'm gonna be very transparent happy to do so but this time around i'm just making sure that i have a, a good resume that i'm applying to at least five jobs a day especially during this recession in this economy that um my linkedin is updated that i'm constantly reaching out to the people after i've applied sending them emails like follow-up emails you know like i'm just i'm hungry i am hungry this is what hungry looks like. I now know what it looks like. Hungry is not like sitting around, filling out 10 applications and then sitting around waiting for somebody to respond. It's no. Every minute that I have additional time to do something, I'm doing job applications. So anywho, I got about, I'm, I'm taking a 15 minute break. I don't even know if I told you guys that, but I, I have about eight minutes left. So I'm just going to sit here and scroll through TikTok some more and like just you know? Here's what we spend in a weekend. Saturday morning, I woke up to my cats demanding treats. Hey guys, so I'm back. And it is 4.30. And like I said, I'm on the clock till 7.30. So I have about three more hours of work left. And it work is work. Like, honestly, I'm just working. But... I got an email. I'm going to show you guys. I got an email. First of all, let me just tell y'all. I literally watch the regular show all day. Like, I've been watching the regular show all day on my iPad. But I just got an email from the school. And they basically told me that, like, I haven't bought my graduation um, regalia. Hey, and we got a complete order it dang apple don't be playing cap gown tassel and hood has been purchased boom i'm ready 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 i'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready to graduate because i'm ready to get some money i'm ready to get some money like i just feel like the girls that graduate with their masters you can't tell them nothing and for me to only be 25 I'm gonna be 25 with a master's, like, girl. Anyways, I'm about to watch the regular show for the rest of my, for the rest of my break because I'm super, I'm just, I just wanna watch the regular show. So, I'm about to watch that. I'm watching the Halloween episode. She was working late. So, I'm about to just do that. This show be so funny, y'all. What the heck, like? They had no idea that guys i hate that i just i don't have 10k subscribers yet it honestly blows my mind like but hopefully these weekly vlogs by the end of this year like i will set myself up for a really good year next year i don't know oh 
that's my timer to clock back in i was on another break i'll be taking several breaks throughout the day y'all i was actually making the thumbnail for this vlog so this is what i think it's gonna be my very first grad school vlog i've never i've been in grad school for two years and I've never done a grad school vlog. And that's because I do school from online. So it's not like a lot that I can show people. But I feel like, you know, since I work from home, my grad school, I go to the gym. You know, I be just, I do little stuff at home. Like, why not show you guys? Today was actually eventful. Honestly, when I woke up this morning, I didn't think that I was going to go to the gym. Uh, I knew I was going to do my little school job real quick. I didn't think I was going to have to order my cap and gown today. Like, I didn't think that I was going to be able to give you guys as much content as I did but the Lord blessed me so anyways this is here let me show you guys isn't that so pretty grad school vlog it's got my breakfast my little notes for school a little cute picture of me like I will watch this I will watch this video anywho I'm gonna close my laptop for now because I have to clock back in because I am not done with the day yet it is 6 52 and I'm actually not done until 7.30. So I have to clock back in. Your girl's not millionaire yet. I have not made a milli yet. I haven't even touched nearly close to it. So your girl's gotta work. She's gotta work. I gotta, I gotta work. So I'm gonna finish up working. I'm gonna close out my work day. I have about 35 minutes so i'm gonna close out my work day and finish my accounts i have six weeks until graduation so i'm gonna give you guys five grad school vlogs five or five grad school videos i should say so let me go ahead and close out my work day so i can tend to you guys and we can finish up our day all together so we really did a whole lot of nothing today like honestly it was just a whole lot of nothing but this is what some days are actually like for me in grad school. So there will be more videos if you like this one. Comment down below, like, and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for the next video. Bye.